Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I am doing a reading here to look at the week ahead and just see what we'll all be interacting with as we move through the course of the week. Our first card is Keeper of Bridges, Persist. Our second card is Six of Air, Meditation. Our third card is Eight of Earth, Apprenticeship. Our fourth card is Four of Fire, Home. And our fifth card is Nine of Air, Distortion. So we begin the week with persistence being a very dominant energy. This says keep on doing what you're doing, go in the path that you've chosen, don't change direction with anything right at the beginning of the week. You're well supported in continuing in the direction that you're working in. From persistence, we move into meditation. So this tells me that there's a need to just sit with whatever you're persisting about. Whatever it is that you're continuing to do, give yourself time to really sit with it with a wide open mind and see where you really want to go with it or what you really want to do with it. From meditation, we move into apprenticeship. So this is a little more active time than meditation. This says you're taking whatever you gathered from the meditation and you're making a choice to learn how to do something with that. And you're going to learn from somebody who already knows how to do what you're trying to do. An apprentice doesn't go on their own. They learn from somebody with experience. From apprenticeship, we move to home. So as you get toward the end of the week, make sure that you're paying attention to your home and the people you share that home space with. This is a wonderful time to reconnect with each other, enjoy each other, remember what you love about each other. At the end of the week, we move into distortion. Now what distortion says is that what you think you're seeing probably is not what you're seeing. So I just want to say at the end of the week, the energy is not real good for making decisions, particularly long-term decisions. It's not real good for trying to negotiate through issues that you have with other people because there's too much of a chance of confusion in what's real there. So toward the end of the week, do things that really don't matter a whole lot, things that the effect of will pass within a day or two, and leave the negotiating and the problem solving and the issue discussing and the emotional upsets and stuff, leave those things for a few more days after the distortion passes. So in summary for this week, stay on course at the beginning of the week. The energy really supports that. And follow that up with a bit of time of self-reflection And just allow yourself to remember why you're on course with that. Midweek, learn something from somebody who already knows how to do it. And toward the end of the week, enjoy your home and anyone you share it with. At the end of the week, keep it light. It's hard to tell what's real there. So don't address anything that really matters right at the end of this week. Let it sit for a few days. Have a wonderful week.